Yeah, first of all, let's start off with a little bit of background. Now, Governor Ducey established the Border Strike Force back in 2015, but this year, Governor Katie Hobbs announced that she wants to dismantle that unit and redistribute the $30 million in funds directly to border communities. Now, Hobbs is still in budget negotiations with the state legislature, so it's unknown if the governor will get everything she wants. But in case she does, Yavapai County Sheriff David Rhodes and Navajo County Sheriff David Close want the governor to reconsider her border priorities. Both of the sheriffs claim they've seen big increases in drug seizures, specifically seizures of fentanyl. Here's Sheriff Rhodes explaining how his office would use the extra cash if those funds don't run dry. What do you want to use that money for? We want to use that money to hire more detectives. We want to use that money to buy more equipment. We want to use that money to do more sophisticated investigations uh, that, that are focused on you know, more organized crime in these rural areas. But primarily, we need more detectives. You need analysts. You need, you need a lot of help. DPS numbers show that from January of 2021 through March of last year, more than 60 percent of all border strike force activities happened in non-border counties. Now, in her budget summary, the governor says the border strike force did not achieve what it set out to do. Governor Hobbs has said that the money would be better spent by local law enforcement agencies and nonprofits down near the border. And so she's hoping to get that done with this budget proposal this year. Send it back into you guys. So, Dennis, this basically comes down to jockeying what we see every year for dollars as lawmakers balance the budget. Where do things stand there? Yeah, and, you know, we see a lot and hear a lot of rumors about budget negotiations right now since most of the legislative work is really ground to a halt at this point. And a big reason for that is we have two uh, uh, offices we have to fill as two lawmakers had left. One had resigned to go run for Congress. Another was uh, kicked out for an ethics violation. So right now, it's a lot of focus on budget negotiations and these sheriffs like a lot of different heads of different departments and agencies are going down to the Capitol and asking for some extra cash because we do have a significant surplus of cash this year and for the coming years uh, to see it's coming and so they like a lot of people they're coming down there with their hands out looking for a little bit of extra money guys a lot still to be decided here in the month of May now Dennis thanks so much